Hey there. Um, so this this video is basically all about um, trying to run games um, on a Mac um, running Parallels 15. Um, I've tried Parallels in the past, but um, because of the the lack of um, DirectX support that um, that it that it has. Um, it's just never been successful when it comes to trying to run games. The difference with um, with uh, Parallels uh, 15 is the fact that it actually does support DirectX 11 through um, Apple's Metal. So I thought that it'd be worth giving it a go. Um, I've I've been using Boot Camp uh, for some time running games uh, with Boot Camp, but unfortunately because of um, like the last time I did I did a I did an install uh, of Windows and um I for some I mean basically what I've got is 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 I've got internally on on my Mac Pro my Mac, MacBook Pro um I've got a um a Radeon Pro 560 and um under here I've got an eGPU um it's the Asus um XG Station Pro I think it's called um, and inside that, I've got a, a Vega 56. Um, so now what was happening with, with Boot Camp the last time I installed it, um, uh, it, it after I'd installed the um, the drivers, the AMD drivers from, um, was it bootcampdrivers.com, um, I was getting a conflict uh, because it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't allow me to have both graphics cards um so yeah, for some reason I wasn't able to get the eGPU working, which was quite bizarre because I've had it running quite a, quite a few times prior to that. Anyway, so what I'm trying to get to is basically the reason I wanted to try Parallels is the fact that it runs, you know, in it, within Mac, so you don't have to basically you don't you don't have to have a, like a dual boot system uh, to you know um, to 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 play games. So I thought I'd give this a go. Um, so. Um, I'm going to basically load up uh, Parallels 11. I've just got the the trial version at the moment because I was going to buy it if, if I knew that it worked. So, um, now there may or may not be sound, but I mean, for the sake of this, I'm not really interested in the sound aspects. I'm just, I'm just concerned about if the games can actually run or not. Um, Continue trial. Cool. So earlier today, I I, I installed uh, Windows Ten, and I installed Steam. Do do do. So okay. Um. Right. I I installed a couple of games. Um. There was. I installed a, a pretty, um, um, what's the, it was called, a game's called Road Child. It doesn't, it, it's not very demanding basically on, on the, um, on the graphics. So I downloaded that and then also downloaded, um, uh, Shikiro Shadows Die Twice. That's a great game. And also, um, so, the, so Shakira only works on, on PC. Uh, and I also downloaded Rise of the Tomb Raider. The thing is, with with the Rise of the Tomb Raider, you can also run that on Mac as well. So I thought I'll I'll download both of them to see what the difference could be. So um, so I'll load up uh, Rochard. Okay, it's just my wife. Throw it. Oh. Okay, so so this is basically loaded, and so as you can see, I mean, so far it's kind of running pretty good. So okay, so we're in the game, and it's pretty. It's pretty. Responsive, it's pretty good. Um, I don't really see much lag. Mm. 
yeah, so that's, let me go into the next room. Yeah, so I mean, that that, that runs pretty good without much, without much, um, like, I mean, I, I could I could definitely play that game. Cool, so that one's fine. Uh, so, um, so the next game I was going to try is Shikuro, Shikuro. So let's. See if it loads. Ooh, it's looking promising. Looks like a pretty smell. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look at that, I mean, I mean, there's 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 a, there's a great graphics. Um, it, I mean, it's 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 running at what I originally had. I think that was uh, was at two k. Um, and it, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it seems like there's no lag at all. So, yeah, I mean, even like in the menu, in the, the you know, the, the going through the, the menu, it's, it's, it, there's no, there's no delay or anything. I mean, the, 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 the graphics are really, really good. So it, it actually is running the game. So, go settings. Okay, so let's try and play the game. So, and and the progress bar is going up pretty quick. So, it's, oh well, wow, that was really quick. Okay, so the game's actually loaded up, which is great. And I mean, the graphics are great, but. But yeah, when you try and turn around in that, it's really laggy. I mean, you can't really play this. It's so annoying. It's so annoying because of the fact that it's so close. Like, like literally, these games are actually running on on the Mac through parallels. But it's, uh, I mean, it's yeah. Damn it! That's so annoying. I want to keep playing anyway. I, I'm just not going to get anywhere with this. So I'll try and um, I'll try and reduce the resolution and see if that helps. Yeah, the computer's getting quite loud now. The fans are definitely kicking in, as is the the eGPU. But it's oh, so annoying because yeah, I mean literally that's 2K graphics there. Um, whoa. Okay, so let me um, okay. Let's see if I can change the graph the, the graphic settings to like maybe like HD graphic options. Ah, for some reason it seems to just yeah. Okay, it's, I think it's frozen. Okay, so basically it kicked us out there. Um, Okay, I'll, I'll quickly try um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and we'll see if that works. So, so as it stands, my my verdict on on Parallels Fifteen is the fact that um, it's it's getting so much better. Like, it's I, I think I think um, the the limitation with this um, is the fact that it can o it can only use up to I think two gigabytes of video memory. So I think that's where the bottleneck is um, because my graphics card, um, it's got eight eight gigabytes of, uh, of, of RAM. So, um, so I, th I think that's basically where the bottleneck is happening is the fact that for some, well, Parallels has always, has always had a, 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 a restriction on the actual, um, the 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 uh, the video graphics um, memory, 
So, uh, cool. Hmm. Um, so, okay, great. Okay, so I mean, at the moment, it seems to be kind of running pretty good. Um, let me try and continue the game. Let's see what the let's see what the graphics are on first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah, as you see, it's 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 it, even in the menu, it's just it's kind of sticking. Um, so I'd be very surprised if the game itself could actually play. Uh, so let's go to display. Oh no, graphics. Oh right, well, display. Yeah, okay, fine. So it's it's a, yeah, it's a nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So yeah. Oh yeah, DirectX twelve is turned off, so we'll be running eleven. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. Well, let's anyway. So that's HD. So let's see if we can if we, if we can get it to play. The Sahara, Siberia wilderness. But yeah, I mean, as I say, it's just it's so it's so annoying that that like we're so close to being able to truly play PC games on a Mac, like natively within within the Mac using parallels. Um, but and and what I made sure of when I was um, uh, before I loaded this up, I, I I closed all the apps and everything in the Mac, so it was using as little resources as possible. Come on. Um. I mean, I can't remember how long it took to actually um, uh, load up um, in boot camp, or, or at least even in within in Mac, because as I say, like Tomb Raider does actually play on on Mac as well. Um, but I don't think it took this long to load up. In fact, I, th I think it could have. I think it's possibly crashed. Yeah. I think it's crashed. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, I think it's loading, but it's, yeah, it's, it's way too slow, way too slow. Yeah, okay, so it's loaded. Um, looks a little bit dim, so I don't know. Yeah, it's not quite loaded up. Hello? Okay, well, I mean, need needless to say, you know, I mean, it's not, I mean, yeah, it's it's just way, too, way, it's just taking way too long to load up. So, you know, I, I think it's safe to say that it, this game is not working. Um, let's try and close this. Uh, Okay, so okay, um, and oh yeah, I forgot to mention at the minute I'm basically running Mojave, um, the latest version of Mojave, and so what I'm going to do is um, uh, about yeah. 
Mojave 14.6. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to update this to Catalina um, because the because on Parallels it actually says well it says system requirements for Parallels uh, Desktop 15. Um, it says for best performance um, is to um, basically be using Catalina. So we'll see. We'll see if that does help. And also on the graphic side, it says um, minimum requirements: Intel, AMD, Radeon, or uh, Nvidia. And then on the best performance, it says AMD Radeon Pro graphics uh, card. So so let me um, let me update to Catalina, and then we'll see if it actually does help uh, with the playing of games. Because I oh, it would be so amazing if it could. And it's just so frustrating that we're so close to it actually working. Um, as we as we found with Sekiro, it was literally like it was right there, like we had the resolution, we had everything, but then it just, the just, it just, it was just too laggy to be able to use it. Um, wow, that's so so frustrating. Okay, well, I'll um, I'll have a look and uh, once I've installed Catalina, we'll see if it works then. All right, see you, bye. Oh, so um, it's the next day, and I've now installed uh, Catalina onto onto the MacBook Pro, um, and um, yeah, let's um, let's load up Parallels 15, and we'll see if it's improved on the game side. Also, um, I've downloaded, um, I downloaded Exodus, um, uh, Metro Exodus, which is, which is a really new game. So I thought it would be good to, to test that um, on, um, on the platform as well. Um, as far as, uh, from what I've read, apparently um, Catalina, um, it, it runs, I think, 15% better than, um, than Mojave. So let's find out. Got the controller to work as well, which is good. Activision. Okay. So the controller's not working, but fine, we'll just use the keyboard. <laughs> it seems to be it's, it, it loaded up pretty much the same as um, Mojave. And the menu's the same, there's no lag or anything. looks so good I just hope it works
it doesn't bode well when it's when it's slowly fading. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, let me just give it a short while to. I mean, well, to, I mean to be quite honest, it actually is it is a bit better, but it just yeah, it just, it just stutters. Um, I wonder if I'll let it just kind of run for a bit and see maybe it just needs to be greased up a bit. <laughs> I mean, when I go, when I, when I, when I turn kind of slowly, it seems to be fine, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's not bad at all. Try going to the graphics options and see if I can reduce the the resolution, or at least perhaps just take the settings down because they see. I mean, they seem pretty high at the moment. Um, yeah, it it just it just crashes on the on the graphics options um, tab, which is really annoying because it just means you can't get in there and actually reduce the settings um, to, to a level that I think actually the game actually probably would work. Um, now, I, I downloaded um, uh, Xbox Game Pass as well, uh, or Microsoft Game Pass, So, and, and I downloaded Halo Reach, because this is a game that I really wanted to play, um, and also Metro Exodus. So let, let's, try, let's try Halo Reach and see if it works. Because Halo, I mean, it came out quite a few years ago, so it, as a game, it's probably not as demanding um, as especially as, as much as Sekiro, because Sekiro only came out like in March. So um, yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> That's loaded up really well. Slight glitch, the glitch at the beginning, but the, I mean, I guess the the only thing in 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 um in parallels defense is the fact that I that I am actually running parallels on an external drive. Albeit uh, connected to my eGPU, which is uh, Thunderbolt three, um, so so the the US so the the actual hard drive is connected to it via USB three or USB C as well. So I mean the th the through port is 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 there. I mean I I did run um, boot camp on this drive and I didn't have any issues with it. So I don't think it would be a bottleneck. I mean I ideally I would install Parallels onto my internal drive, but my internal drive is only 500 gigs and, I, and I've only got like 100 gigs left so I can't really I can't really install it and then install games on that because there's not enough space so that would be the only thing that may be causing it to be a little bit slower possibly but as I said with bootcamp I've never I'd never had the problem running it on, on, on the same external drive here we've got the Awesome Halo soundtrack. Um, I mean, it, it seems to be running. I mean, it, it's like very smooth. Um, let me just have a look at the settings. Uh, it's a good thing I can actually go into settings. Video. 
Oh, so basically the, 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 the options that I have is just graphic settings being uh, either original or enhanced. So, I mean, I, don't, I, I can't... Uh, aspect ratio... Well, no, I'll, I'll leave that. Um, I'll turn V-Sync off um, just for just for the, this test. Um, frame rate. Uh, well, frame rate can either be 60 FPS or unlimited, so I'll just have it at 60, 60 FPS. Uh, Save settings. Okay, right. Okay, well, so far, so good. Campaign. So I, I did have a little game of this last night just to have a look, but I'm not going to tell you what happened with that. So we'll just we'll just see see what it looks like. So the, the sounds being a little bit glitchy, but are definitely going on the computer. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so well. This whole valley just turned into a free fire zone. Chad, we gotta warn Holland. I need you at that relay outpost now. Okay, well it's definitely running. It's, it's pretty smooth. There's not not too much well, there's no real you got point. Let's go, let's go. This is this. This seems to be working. I mean, yeah, it's it's not perfect, but it, it you know, I, I could maybe just about get by with it. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah. I just died. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far, um, you know, it, 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 Probably be better with a controller. Oh yeah! Okay, so basically the verdict is that the verdict is that um, that Halo reached. I mean, 
having its dated graphics um, does actually does actually work uh, with Parallels 15 uh, on uh, on Catalina. Uh, so yeah, so let's let's try uh, Metro Exodus. I mean, I, I hadn't tried that at all, so I, I'm I'm going to be as surprised as you are. Um, how it goes so yeah let's check it out uh, in fact I've, I haven't played the game before so it's all pretty new what the hell happened to the anyway okay right here goes don't show me this again. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, here goes. Here goes. Um, I, I did see earlier though that on on um, if you go if you go down and you have a look on the on the actual the minimum uh, the minimum system requirements for uh, Metro Exodus, the um, it has video memory of two gigabytes. Uh, and and as we know the 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 require the the maximum that parallels 15 can do is is two gigabytes of video memory so perhaps we we may meet the minimum requirement for it which will be really good which which is quite handy and considering it is a very new game so um Come on. Oh, oh, sh okay. So I, I need to. Uh, yeah, basically, I pushed it too many times, and I think it's trying to load. Uh, versions of the game. Okay, well, it's, okay, fine. It's loading. Okay, now. The snow effect, it's so cool. Oh, let's play. Oh, it's so annoying that Xbox Live, every time you load a new game, you have to, it, it kind of has to verify it with your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a momento. It's so cool. <laughs> I 
I loved playing the original um, Metro game. It was so awesome. I mean, it was, you know, I mean, I, I, the, the game that I really loved, uh, that obviously, um, I, you know, that it came from was, was Stalker. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, love, I love that, that whole environment. It's, uh, it's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to go to options and see if I can dial down the settings a bit. So we yeah we're down pretty low, quality's low. Uh, yeah. So yeah, basically one ninety yeah nineteen twenty by ten eighty resolution. I've got it on medium quality. Um. I still remember life before the war. of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. Well, the intro is pretty good. Oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. I remember we were born for a better life, 
They can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Great intro. Really puts you puts you in it. Probably should be dropping a lot quicker than this. <laughs> okay, well, needless to say, I... I'd be very well looking at how long it's taking to drop um, to the ground. I suspect it's um, it's yeah, it's, it's not going to be playable. Okay, so I'm going to close. I mean, literally, it, it would be unplayable, which is a real shame. But... Oh, if 
if I'm not mistaken, I think like the like the um, the first um, uh, Metro Exodus. I don't. I think the only way to actually close the game is to actually um, control alt delete. I don't think you can, I don't think there's a way that you can actually exit, which is bizarre. Escape. Oh, maybe there is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, okay, so uh, as as much of a valiant effort it was um, for. I think with Parallels 15, um, you know, to, to try and get games to work. I mean, there are perhaps a couple of games that do work, but I think for the most part it's pretty broken. And on this basis, I'm not going to basically be buying Parallels, um, which is a real shame because it's just, it works so seamlessly with um, with Mac, uh, well, with, within within the Mac OS. Um, it would just, uh, it would just be perfect. Um, unlike boot camp, which which does require a bit more um, elbow grease as far as you know installing it and and then obviously installing the drivers and all of that. And as I said, I've been having problems. I mean, I'll, I'm going to perhaps try and just just do another um, boot camp boot and see and see if I can get the the drivers to work with my um, Vega 56. Because um, yeah. The last couple of times I tried it wasn't working, so and it meant and it meant that I I couldn't actually use the eGPU um, graphics card, which which is the whole purpose of why I was doing bootcamp, because obviously the internal um, uh, Radeon Pro five sixty in the MacBook Pro it's it's pretty useless um, for for gaming and you can't do anything of, of any major. Um, um, Okay, so yeah, I guess I'll sign off for the time being, and this and this was the the test to see if it actually does work. And unfortunately, um, yeah, it it still doesn't work. Perhaps when Parallels sixteen comes out, maybe it'll work. But I, I just don't quite understand why they can't just raise the um, the graphics uh, memory um, allowance. Whether I don't know whether there's some sort of yeah, because it's running on top of Mac OS, whether there's, whether you can only have two gigabytes of, of video memory, um, used, um, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's just a real shame. Cause I think maybe that could be the reason that it's not working because apart from that, it, you know, it loads, you know, and, and it's, and it's, it's so, it's so close. It's so close and it really, it's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, so this is it. So unfortunately, um, yeah, Parallels Fifteen is not is not is not going to work for for doing any major gaming uh, for us uh, Mac users. Okay, well uh, that's that then. Cheers. Bye bye.